Good day dear subscribers, again me, it's Shahzad Kabilov here. So today I'm going to introduce you another achiever on IELTS 8.5 band score, which is really great. So her name is Madame Inova Kamola. So, hello Kamola. Tell us something really interesting about yourself. Well, I think it's a little bit of it's a little bit tricky question because there's so many people out there and they can be much more original than me and etc. So, but when it comes to talking about something that's really unique about me, I would probably say that one of my unique tra traits is that I'm really keen on different competitions and just doing my best. Like, it's not only about victory or even only about checking my knowledge or just going somewhere. Uh, it's also about something like deeply personal to just go to some uh, even exam and just do my best so I'm re always ready for this and I'm always ready to participate in any competition or event and I'm really happy when I do it well apart from that I can actually just list some of my interests well it's music uh, one of my interests is music I can play the violin and the piano and I really like it especially the violin well um, uh, in the future, I want to work with space. I want to become an astrophysicist eventually, but first of all, I want to become an engineer. I want to complete an engineering degree and in the future, become a research scientist in astrophysics. Or at least an engineer who can just help with maybe terraforming other planets or just designing the spaceships for interstellar travel or something. Well, that's uh, my goal. Actually, it's my dream to um, do something like this for space, to work with space. I guess that's enough for this question. Great, really good. So, could you tell me what was your real passion in learning foreign language, especially English? Uh, thank you for this question. It's actually the question which I get asked of a lot. Like, uh, many people ask, um, what was your passion to learn English and stuff like that. Well, I can say that at first it wasn't something about passion. I was just, it was just really worrying for me to not know English and I wanted to know it. Uh, well, I started going to different language centers and just learning English, but it was just for a couple for the first couple of months or maybe years uh, because then I just started learning English on my own uh, st I started reading books in English just maybe watching some videos listening to some podcasts in English and from that point on onwards it became just something like an interest hobby or a necessity for learning because English uh, it's really, is really helpful for just learning other subjects too like uh, I can easily access some information in English too and of course there's so much more information in English and for example other language than the information on one language or even two. So in the beginning again it wasn't much of a passion I was just interested and I just wanted to know it really well but then it became something that I wanted to do in order to be successful not only in language but also in other areas in engineering especially since I want to become an engineer and later a scientist and uh, well for other ideas of life too because with English I can just easily talk to foreigners too although I have never really talked to so many people from other countries I still want to do it it's interesting for me what is the main role of your parents in your current achievement uh, I can say that the role of my parents in my achievements all of my in all of my achievements is really huge because they have already they have always been there for me like even if maybe they cannot help with preparation like with the academic side of the uh, like competitions they were still there to encourage to help with something like maybe I don't know no be nervous or something like books, buying books for example for just learning or supplying me with internet or anything else. So actually it was my parents who first gave me this wish, this motivation and actually zeal maybe even to learn something more and more. I mean I was interested in learning English even when I was younger so it was, I did it willingly. I mean it wasn't something that my parents forced me to do. But still, they were always there to actually inspire. Like, even if maybe I had some problems or difficulties, they would say, like, uh, don't worry, it'll like just work out, don't bother about it. And I'm really thankful to them for this. And apart from that, they were always with me during my competitions, doing some really important events, especially when I was really nervous or worried, I don't know. And 
they just never stopped me from doing what I liked, what I really wanted to do. If something that I wanted to do was not really right, they would just tell me that it's not really the best way to do it, or for example, it's not really the best, the most efficient way to do it. You should do it in a different way. But even then, they would allow me to explore it myself, to just understand for myself what maybe incorrect things I was going to do or the mistakes I could make. So I'm really, again, thankful to them for this because they just never stopped me and they always encouraged me. I guess this is the most important thing and they were always there for me, even if they could not help with some aspects of preparation for anything, they still were there to support morally, emotionally and just, just from the perspective of family. Give at least three advice for your peers in learning foreign languages, in your case, is English. Well, if you ask me about advices for learning English, I guess they are really miscellaneous and I cannot give three like perfect advices which would work for everybody, but I can say, I can talk about some things which definitely works for me. So first of all, it's reading books. Um, it is something that 100% works. For me, and I guess for other people, it will be worth it too, because when you read books, you can just acquire so much knowledge, not only in English, but also like in other fields too. And I'm, by the way, I'm talking about just reading books in English, not in any other language. Uh, well, aside from that, the second advice, I guess, would be to just do what you are interested in. For example, for me, it was just learning. I uh, accessed some online courses and some books even about science, about math, and I just read them and I still do it. And it was really interesting for me and it's really interesting. And sometimes I read articles in English like about different topics, maybe science again, maybe math, maybe something else, sometimes news. So it's interesting for me and I just do it. And it doesn't take too much effort to do it because uh, it's not a learning process even. Well, it is a learning process, but it's not something like a classroom learning or something it's, or homework. It's just really interesting for me and that's why I do it. Well, the third and last advice would probably be to never fear and never stop. Like, you should not fear like taking up a book and just starting to read it if it's in a foreign language. So I have heard many people say like, uh, I don't want to start reading a book because I don't have a proper level of English or other language. It can, it can be the case when you are just in the beginning of your course, but this time it will not will stop being the case, like it will stop being a problem because even you, if you start reading and the first book is really difficult for you, then this time you'll get to, used to it. But if you start earlier, you'll just get used to it earlier. So just try to do it and never stop learning. That's I guess that were those were the three advices which I would give to any peop to any person who would ask them, but I'm not really sure if it's gonna work for you. I hope it works though. So. As an appreciation for your achievements, so we are greatly here for you and to give it's a small gift from the agency for promoting foreign language learning. So and then we wish you the best of luck and then never stop in these achievements because it's only the beginning. You're mostly welcome. That's Thank for you. you very much. So, dear subscribers, this is the another interviewer with the great achievements. So now, this is your turn. Sign up for our social media websites. See you soon. Have a great day.